All right, next up here, Kentucky and Florida. Uh, SEC battle here, second week of the season. We got an SEC conference game here with uh, the Gators hosting the Wildcats. Florida, four and a half point home favorites down in Gainesville in the swamp for a second straight game. 52 and a half the total in this one. Isn't it interesting? Florida gets the huge win against Utah, and that was a great college football game. It wasn't great for my pocket because I liked Utah, and I bet Utah, and they fell short. Interception in, uh, uh, down in the final seconds from Cam Rising uh, ended their chances, but that was a great college football game. No question. It was back and forth. It was very well played. It went right down to the end. Two very good teams. And look, give Florida credit. They found a way. They got the extra stop. And to be honest, if um, Anthony Richardson wasn't as incredible with his athleticism and his playmaking and his getting out of pressure, I mean, Utah had him dead to rights multiple times in that game, and he would just somehow get away, make a play down the field, either running the football or finding an open receiver in the passing game. Uh, that was a uh, – this guy's always had talent. There's no question. And ability to be a game breaker. And Anthony Richardson kind of, you know, finally realized that talent and potential a little bit against a great Utah team to be able to play like that. It was very outstanding, but isn't it interesting that all the money's come in on Kentucky here early in the week when Florida had this big win against Utah looked great and Kentucky, to be quite honest with you, struggled for over a half against Miami, Ohio last week at home. Isn't it interesting though, when you see Kentucky look a little vulnerable, Florida looks so good against a terrific Utah team and yet Kentucky's taking the money. I think that's very eyebrow-raising, uh, if you ask me. It's definitely one of those spots where can Florida ramp it back up again, Connor, for a second straight week, right after a big win like that. And now Kentucky here with Will Levis and this Wildcats team that I think offense was kind of out of sorts. Their defense after you know a first half where they struggled you know, a little bit. They gave up some plays to Miami O uh, early in that game, but they also benefited from an injury to Blank, uh, Brett Gabbard. Uh, he got injured for Miami O and didn't return in the second half in that game. So that also was allowed, I think, Kentucky to pull away because Miami had to turn to the backup quarterback, Avion Smith. And, and that's really when the offense started to struggle down the stretch against Kentucky. So this is a game I'm probably going to pass. I'll be honest. You know, I've, I've given you a lot of opinions yeah. on a lot of the games we've talked about where I'm leaning one way or um, – I've already bet something in one of the games that we've talked about up till this point. I pretty much have bet something on a lot of the games we've talked about, or I've at least have a lean. This one, I don't have anything really. And that's okay. I know in our comments, we've seen some people say, Hey, you're going to talk about this game and not <laughs> make have a, a pick. pick. Yeah. Make a pick. Uh, all that talk. Hey, they got to put up lines for every college football game. Odds makers do. We don't have to bet every Dang. college football game. We get to pick and choose what we like and what we want to put our money down on. So keep that in mind. So for me, early in the week, I, 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 Florida took my money last week. I'm not in a rush to tempt them to take my money again this week. Let's put it that way. So I guess if I had to throw out uh, the most mild, mildest of leans, it would be toward the Gators. What do you think here at Connor, Kentucky, and Florida? Yeah, but it's here's the problem, you know, right around the four and a half. I was going through a bunch of stuff last night. They just haven't been good, the, you know, the last years as this big a favorite. And you talked about the huge win at home. Obviously, they're back here, and I think they could win this game and cover the number. I just don't feel great about it. And I loved Florida last week. I thought they would play great. And it went down the wire. It was an unreal football game um, in that one. But I think Kentucky's pretty good with Levis. I think their defense is solid. I'd have nothing here. Uh, Florida gave up some big plays, but I thought that would happen. You know, I thought it kind of go back and forth. That went over the total. Uh, but at this total at 52 and a half, I think the number there is pretty sharp. So I didn't have much on this one either. I think I'm going to watch. If I had to, I love what Richardson did. I thought he played well, and he did. But you mentioned it after the big win, even at home. I lean there. I wish this was under a field goal. It's not. So that's one we, we you know, bet numbers here. So it, it's a pass for me too as well. No doubt. Uh, by the way, um, Mark Stoops still, I think, has the suspension in place for Chris Rodriguez, who was expected to be a big integral part of the Kentucky running back group running the football. And he didn't uh, play last week. I don't know if his suspension is going to be lifted for this game against Florida, which uh, we'll have to wait and see on it. So they might have to go with, uh, give me the money, pass the Kavasi, yay. 
Cavassier Smoke once again maybe at uh, running back here for uh, uh, Kentucky for this game against uh, Florida on uh, Saturday. Who's capable? Uh, definitely very uh, solid running back, but uh, Rodriguez's status uh, still up in the air with it's still uh, that suspension. I think it's a team implemented suspension may still be in place for him for this uh, matchup Saturday night in the swamp down in Gainesville uh, against Florida.